welcome to another episode of Historically Mart, a Route 66 edition. And yes, I am staying in front of one of the most legendary places to eat on Route 66. However, it is not on Route 66. I'll go ahead and explain that in a second. Now, Amarillo, Texas, uh, where I'm at, I'm pretty much on the outskirts of the city, east side, but um, Amarillo, Texas, as far as Route 66, they are famous for the Big Texan Steak Ranch and Cadillac Ranch. However, both of them are not on Route 66, at least not directly. But this is known to be a Route 66 icon. There is a marker here by, you guessed it, Hampton Hotels. And there's lots to show you, a lot of history here. And I came hungry, um, you know, per advice from my fellow people who have been here. And I got on the waiting list. So, all right, let me come explore. So a friend of mine who was here back in um, June when he took the Route 66 journey to Santa Monica, um, he did tell me some few pointers about this place like um, they have a big gift shop and expect at least a half hour wait. Well, I have an hour wait and that's okay because I understand this place is a tourist hotspot as well as one for locals and it's Saturday night. Plus they have really good beer. They brew it themselves. And in the waiting area, they had this Hampton Hotels roadside attraction right here. <laughs> All right, so it's the Big Texan Steak Ranch Home of the free 72 ounce steak, this famous steak ranch has been feeding hungry travelers since 1960. Young man, we fed your father. So in addition to the restaurant, they do have a hotel here. Or a motel, I guess. In front of the sculpture, Big Tex Rex, there is a historical marker. All right, see what it says here. The Big Texan Steak Ranch opened in 1960 in Route 66. Ten years later, Interstate 40, which is that over there, you see all those big trucks. Um, this created an immediate catastrophic drop in business, forcing founder Bob R.J. Lee to move the Big Texan to I-40 or lose the Big Texan. In March of 1970, the Big Texan said farewell to the Mother Road and opened its present day location. Since that date, the Big Texan has been blessed with continuous prosperity and has grown into an international icon. Sons of the late founder, Bobby and Danny Lee, have always held a deep appreciation for Route 66. Without it, there wouldn't be a Big Texan today. So that's why they proudly dedicate Big Tex Rex to the spirit of the Mother Road. And if you want to know what's the deal behind the cowboy dress green dinosaur, I'll just go ahead and just scroll like this. You can hit pause whenever. So if you're seeing billboards of this place on the interstate, you'll probably notice the free 72 ounce steak meal. Of course, they're not gonna give it to everybody, but to earn it, you gotta do a challenge. And the challenge I'm referring to is um, the challenge that has been going on since 1960. November 1st, as a matter of fact. So far, um, at least 70,000 people have tried the challenge. Um, but most people have failed. Now, ironically, um, last month, September 2021, the 10,000th challenge was done and completed successfully by a man named John Lehmans. Or actually, I tell you back, he's the 10,000th person to win the challenge. But the challenge <laughs> is you eat the free 72 ounce steak, and you also get a shrimp cocktail, which I think is like four or five of those babies, and sauce bread and butter, salad, and a baked potato. No dessert, and I'm sure, I mean, drink is probably included, I don't know, but if you eat it in less than an hour, it's all yours. And I think it's cost $80, if I'm not mistaken. So the one who reportedly ate it the fastest was a tiny woman from Nebraska who weighed 128 pounds, and she happened to be a competitive eater. Hey, you know, you can't sometimes size doesn't matter. But for Molly Schuler or Shiler, sorry, she ate three of these meals in one hour. The first was not even in five minutes. Oh my gosh. You almost gotta be a real beast to do that. She even wanted to do a fourth one, but the owner or manager denied her request. Because yeah, I'm sure there were a lot of hungry patrons that wanted their meal here. But if you do want to see the challenge anytime, go to their YouTube channel. I'll have the link below. And the contestant is usually on a raised platform at the restaurant and the challenge is streamed live. So if you're gonna compete in that challenge, this is what you'll be eating. This, that, that, a roll, potato, the green stuff not included. All right, here's the entryway. Don't let the bear scare you. 
That's the gift shop. That's where you register. And as for me, I'm doing the 16 ounce um, strip, and this is pretty much called the Big Texan Strip. I didn't want to go all big, but you know, I still wanted to walk out, uh, you know, with a full stomach. I hope so. Here we go. This gentleman here, he is from Los Angeles. He is taking on a challenge. He came here by bicycle, and he's got 52 minutes left. He's got to eat all of that in one hour. Good luck to you, bro. And in the end, I ate it all. But I am a little full, but I know some of you are probably like, well, Jason, that's uh, I can eat much more than that. You're a wimp. Well, guess what? I'm not much of a steak person. <laughs> so in other words, that challenge that the kid is doing is definitely not for me. <laughs> and if you're still hungry, there is Texas sized cake. Yeah, after what I ate, I can't eat that big. <laughs> and Texas sized cookies. See, it's even got Texas written on it. There's a bar on the right. Sure. And if you want to test your skills at shooting, there you go. Just don't be like Marty McFly. Do I really want to light this guy up for a buck? Well, you can't really see it, but yeah, it's a guy in an electric chair. Ready for the execution. And just in time for Halloween. Oh my gosh, that guy's face changed. Oh, now she looks pretty. Now she ugly. This guy looks like he's got the 1880s Chester Arthur mustache, but if I turn this way... Well, you can't really tell the difference, but he looks like a, a zombie. <laughs> that is the founder, R.J. Bob Lee, 1929 to 1990. All right, thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Mart. I am Jason, just outside the Big Texan Steak Ranch on, well, kind of on Route 66 or more of the interstate. All right, this is Jason signing off.